Miss Turtle. Uh, Miss Turtle is actually my Criterium coach. <laughs> What is going on, Sports Basement? It is a Scott Boy summer. Uh, I'm here with Miss Turtle right now. Uh, we are going to be telling you folks about the second installment in this video series. We are going to get some advice from some pros on how to train and how to do well in these crits. Um, and now we're actually going to go out and go live into the Suisson Harbor and put some of these tips and tricks into practice and see how well I do in my first crit of the summer. This is a great video. It's a lot of fun. Miss Turtle may or may not make another appearance. Let's jump into it. Let's see what's going on. Uh, <laughs> Much better. Yeah, yeah. So would love some advice from you. What should I be doing to, to train better and also just to perform better and place better in these races? You want to train as hard as you possibly can mm. and you want to race as easy as you possibly can. Mm. If I'm trying to get crit fitness, how should I be training to, to do well in a crit out? Uh, I do one long ride a week, mm -hmm. three to four hours. Mm -hmm. uh, you do one sprint day a week, mm -hmm. so 10, 15 second maximal efforts mm -hmm. with 10 minutes of rest, mm -hmm. and rest being 100 ones. Like, mm -hmm. easy, easy, easy. Mm -hmm. Third day, you're doing 30 30s, mm -hmm. so 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, mm -hmm. uh, three sets of 10 minutes. It's like tips or things you think I should be thinking about or on my radar as I'm yeah. embarking on this. Uh, so in the race, Positioning mm -hmm. and saving energy mm -hmm. are the two things you need to worry about. Mm -hmm. If it's a single file line mm -hmm. and everyone's going hard, mm -hmm. stay where you are. Mm -hmm. Don't move up. Mm -hmm. Anytime you can move up without extra effort, mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. If someone's moving up past you, mm -hmm. slide out, get on their wheel, take a free ride to the front. Mm -hmm. Save energy as much as you can. Mm -hmm. Don't do anything early unless it's a wake up the legs, mm -hmm. get your face shown, mm -hmm. kind of be like, I belong in the front of the field. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. so you just gotta be first across the line. Yeah. So it's a really simple, mm -hmm. <laughs> like it's a simple concept. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. yeah, I'm Rachel Parker. I am a bike racer that does road races and crits and a little bit of gravel, and I'm aspiring to race at the professional level. Yeah, I would just advise for them to be as present as possible. Pay attention to what's going on around them. If they can see what's going on down the road, they should be aware of that. And stay in the drops and just stay comfortable and efficient and just like focus on good form. Got Steven here and look look at what he's on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Right, so Steven, this is, this is your first crit. Uh, how are you how are you feeling, man? I, what, what are your predictions for tomorrow? What are you trying to do? Well, um, if I don't end up on the pavement. I think I think I'll I'll have a, a good chance of, of getting top fifteen for sure. The fitness level, mm. phenomenal. The the tactics level, a solid B. Sprinting in the drops, a solid C, C plus. Showing everybody the upper thirties. All we gotta do is believe. <laughs> All right, yeah. So tomorrow. <laughs> You know, tomorrow, Scott Boy, so we're going to be doing this race, you know, it's a CSUN crit, feeling pretty good, uh, you know, honestly, if I can just not get dropped, that'll be a win, bike's clean, you know, but secretly, I feel like I'm a, I'm a sprint to win, we'll see what happens, Scott Boy, summer, stay tuned, sports basement, uh, come on, what is that? Nectar of the gods, hello, Miss Turtle, she's wishing me, wishing me luck here for this race today. Oh my god, she's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Crit. The Yeah, Matt. Dude, we're here at the, the Suisson Crit. You know, first crit of the season, the Scout Boy Summer here. Got the bikes, you know. It's gonna get changed up and uh, get some riding going. Get ready go. to go. Suisson. Suisson. It also has a I'm Noah. Screen. I'm oh, okay. Steven's manager. Oh, yeah. Steven's um, <laughs> manager. <laughs> yeah. If you wanna film him, you're gonna have to talk to me first. Oh, hey. you're gonna stop him. <laughs> <laughs> This is a time-honored tradition of bike racing. At 100%, we'll do that, man. All right, race time, the CSUN Chris. Um, so the race started off kind of rough. Um, the race before ours uh, started late, and we thought our race would start late as well. Um, that was not the case. It started on time, and so we actually missed the start of the race. 
Um, we ran over the event promoters. They let us race, but we had a four lap penalty. So this first clip is just me getting reabsorbed by the pack. Things were not off to an awesome start. Um, one of the things that stood out to me about this course was just how fast it was. Um, you know, the laps themselves took less than a minute to complete. Um, the average speed was north of 26 miles per hour. And so it was like full gas the entire time throughout this race. Um, one of the things that I was noticing from the footage is that I was not doing a good job drafting. Um, I've got plenty of excuses, you know, my first race of the season, I was a little jarred because I started late, but at the end of the day, I did a horrible job drafting and just wasted a ton of energy uh, because I was not on people's wheel, I was just sucking wind. You know, this field was a mixed field, so it was a Cat 4-5 race. Um, Cat 5 is like totally novice, if you've never raced before, you'd be a Cat 5. Um, Cat 4 is, you're also a beginner, but you typically have more strength, you have some more experience and more tactics. Um, and from my very biased lens, this race definitely felt more uh, Cat 4 than it did Cat 5. Uh, we've got some clubs from across the region, so you had Alto Velo, uh, Fat Cake, uh, San Jose Bike Club, and then a bunch of random people uh, like myself who showed up and just wanted to have some fun and uh, do some racing out here in the Suisson Harbor. Um, so we can see uh, here in this next corner, um, there was a crash on the course. Luckily it wasn't too bad, people didn't get too hurt, but um, always a reminder of the dangers of crits. Final stretch, drilling it for the sprint, for victory, for glory. Oh yeah, doing it with my pals. Oh wait, <laughs> uh, I got dropped like a bag of rocks. Uh, did not go my way this time. Uh, this is some footage of me, tail between the legs, coming off the course. Uh, after only 12 minutes, sad. Uh, but that's okay, Scott Boy Summer's not over. Uh, let's go check out some uh, real-time race recap. All right, Steven, how'd you do? How'd you feel? Um, humbled. I feel, I feel humbled. Uh, you know, first race ever, missed the start. Started like four laps oh, down. Right, yeah. Jumped in, jumped in with Moxie. Okay, no, it's I'm still, it's still, it's still Scott Boy Summer. Uh, got the first one out of the way. Now it could only get better from here. That's okay. the way I'm gonna look at it. Hey, Matt, how'd you do? How do you feel? Man, see, Suisson crit, uh, first one of the season. You know, it went about as well as my other four or five crits. Hung on for like five or six laps and then uh, got dropped. You know, didn't crash though, which is a win. Uh, next time, you know, hoping to finish with the pack, but uh, it's pretty good. It's still Scott Boy Summer. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>